Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated as Mary Jane. So let's talk about the situation with Pete Davidson, you know, Kanye West, and Ariana Grande. So basically, Pete Davidson was at work. He was at the studio for SNL. He was working on, you know, some chopping screw different things for the Oscars and coming up with skits or whatever. And basically, a lot of people said some of the skits and the things that he was supposed to introduce didn't come out like it's supposed to. Like things were kind of mixed up. They don't know if they took a break, where it was Pete Davidson or whatever, but there was a welfare check done on Pete Davidson because he had posted to Instagram, I really don't want to be on this earth anymore. I am doing my best to stay here for you, but I actually do not know how much longer I can last. All I have ever tried to do was help people. Just remember I told you so. So when Pete Davidson posted that and then he deleted it, everybody was like worried. Like what's going on with Pete Davidson? There was a welfare check. The police was called. They went to his house. They went to the studio. Ariana Grande was at the studio talking about I'm not leaving. I'm staying here at the studio. Where are you? I know you got people around that, that love you, that support you. But I just got to know that you are right. I'm like, damn, Ariana Grande, you going through. You just lost the love of your life, you know. Mac Miller, R.I.P. Mac Miller, you know what I mean? But he didn't try to commit suicide. It was just that he was addicted to drugs and he had an overdose. And I, and if he was here to do it all over again, he'd probably take less because I don't think he was trying to die. I don't think he was trying to die at all. I don't think he was trying to take his life. But sometimes when you're under the influence of drugs, shit happens. And you think that your body can tolerate more than it really can. That could be the question. That could be the answer. Maybe, maybe not. So she had already lost the love of her life. And then now... Pete Davidson was supposed to be the second lover of her life or a somewhat love of her life. It didn't seem like they were cohesive. It didn't seem like a good couple together, what people was thinking and what people say. But we don't know what was actually going on between Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. But what we do know is that Ariana Grande was like, this is too much of a relationship going on. Like, you're always upset when I'm gone. You're mad. You're acting like I'm abandoning you because, you know, Pete Davidson do have mental issues. He was diagnosed with mental issues. He was in a, a facility to have, you know, to get help with his mental issues. And he's been suffering for these mental issues since he was like about 16. And I don't think he's on his medication reg on a regular basis, regular basis while he was actually dating Ariana Grande. So that caused a lot of turmoil between their relationship. And so she gracefully bowed out of the, you know, engagement. So we have that situation. So now she's still concerned and worried. She don't want another person that she was she was dating or with or loved, you know, to actually leave this earth, uh, you know, before their time. And so, like, she's out here. She's worried. She's running around the place. She's she's trying to not find out if he's okay, if he's good. She's standing at the studio or she's at his apartment. She's there. She's like, I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to make sure you're okay. I know you got people there for you. I know you got people to support you. But I just want to make sure you're okay. You can't die on my watch or on my clock, even though we ain't together. But in the meantime, in between time, you know, she was still kind of like upset because what was going on with Kanye West, you know, Kanye West was going off. He was going crazy on Instagram the other day. I mean, on Twitter the other day, basically calling out Drake, talking about Drake set up, you know, um, Drake, you know, lied on him about, you know, his child saying that he told Pusha T the information about Drake's, you know, hidden son. And it wasn't actually um, Kanye West that actually told, you know, Pusha T the information. It was actually Drake's friend. And then on top of that, he wanted Drake to apologize. Um, Kanye West said he's been trying to reach, reach out to Drake for like about six months and he haven't heard from Drake. And Drake is pissing him off. He's getting on his nerves. And basically, and talking about Drake setting up Pusha T you know um when he was doing his, his performance in Canada or whatever where you know people were throwing bottles and people tried to get on stage and come after Pusha T that you know Kanye West basically dry snitching saying that Drake brought out the first and first and second row seats so he can put his goons up there so they can actually disturb or destroy Pusha T's show and basically Kanye West is like you got people I got people too we can buy anybody so basically you know Drake's people reached out to Kanye West to get a song release or a sample release Kanye West said, I'm not releasing shit. Call me. So Drake called Kanye West, but Kanye West said he still ain't releasing the, the, the sample for Drake. So Drake is out here in the streets. And in the meantime, in between time, Miley, Miley Cyrus and, you know, Ariana Grande was, they actually released a single. And so this is where Ariana Grande tweeted, guys, I know there are grown men arguing online. 
but Miley and I dropped our beautiful new song tonight. So if y'all could please just behave for just like a few hours, hours so the girls can shine. Thanks. <laughs> Be so sick. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be so sick. Thank you. So the girls can shine. It'll be so sick. It'll be sick. You know, thank you or whatever. And so then, you know, Kanye West, he had to get into... Kanye West got in his feelings and was like, I know Ariana said this to be cool and didn't mean no harm, but I don't like even the slightest level of slight commentary from someone I know loves and respects me so basically he was like you know Kanye West is like I know you love me I know you respect me I know you bow down to me and everything like that but I ain't taking no disrespect from you or anybody else but damn you take disrespect for you take disrespect from the billionaires Kanye West you take disrespect from everybody else that got more money than you so anyways miss me with that bullshit so we have all that going on and it's just like damn <laughs> So, and then Kanye West tweeted again, no one would ever choose to end up in a mental hospital and diagnosed with a, with a mental disorder, but God chose me to publicly go through this, this journey and it is beautiful. Yeah, God chose, you know, you chose yourself because don't you think you God Kanye West? So anyways, Kanye West, and I don't even know if Kanye West has a disorder or anything. I just think he's a sociopath and he wants things to be his way. He wants to be on top and he don't want to be forget forgotten. And he wants that power and he thrives on it and he wants to be the best in everything. And that's okay and that's fine. But it's just like he goes overboard like his sneaker. He's mad at Drake because Drake, because the 350s ain't selling because Drake said something about don't buy the 350s in one song. So he wants apologies from that. The Kardashian, I'm keeping up with the Kardashian TV show the ratings are going down and basically he feels like you know he's he, he, he's wearing out like he's becoming washed goods and he don't want that to happen because it isn't supposed to be like this Kanye West is still still supposed to be on top but he chose to make statements he chose a side he chose you know um the president he chose to walk with him he chose to be with him he chose to say make America great again and talking rap about it in the song like he ride by the cops because he has on his mega hat or whatever. So now, like, everything that he did is reaping. He's reaping what he saw. And then getting on TMZ, whether he's saying um, 400 years of slavery was a choice. Or if another 400 years come, slavery is a choice or whatever. It would be a choice. So all the type of words that he said and all the co coonery and the buffoonery he did to tap dance, butt lick and kiss is actually destroying and tarnishing his brand. And that's why when Jay-Z dropped his song with Meek Mills, um, he was hoping and when Drake when um Jay-Z, you know, basically cleared up the verse. You're talking about he wasn't talking about, you know, uh, Kanye West and his verse. He was talking about Michael Jackson and Prince and, and that situation. Kanye West quickly took to Twitter and was like, yo, um, um, you know, Jay-Z, can we please do another, you know, the Throne album or whatever? So he wants to get back to his old roots. He done been back to Chicago and try to pretend like he wants to help the people in Chicago. He want to help the rappers. He wants to feed the homeless in Chicago. He wants to move to Chicago. He used Chance the Rapper to actually try to get his feet into sh in Chicago with the peoples and basically trying to get back to where he used to be. Like, you need to start with the Donda House. You need to start with your mother's foundation, how you, how you, taught, how you and Kim Kardashian tarnished your mother's foundation with that bullshit you did you know last summer so miss me with that so that's the situation that's going on and you know so ariana grande she took to twitter she apologized for being insensitive and basically she wants to support you know mr davidson and support mr kanye west on on instagram too as well and twitter and she said that she's really sorry she didn't want to take she didn't want to take anything away from mental health she didn't admit she didn't mean to disrespect you know Mr. Davidson or uh, Mr. Kanye West because mental illness is a very alarming and a very important subject to talk about. And so she feels bad about that. And plus Kanye West called her out and he has millions and millions of followers. So basically she wanted to clear the air with that. And she said basically what she did, you know, it was a dumb joke. You know, she, she deleted, you know, the post, she degree, she deleted the Twitter, you know, post or whatever. And she apologized for her dumb joke or whatever. And uh, bas basically she was just trying to get in where she's fitting because she didn't know exactly how serious it was because we know Kanye West rants all the time. And he has, he tells us millions and millions of lies about his, lies about his mental illness that we don't even know if it's true 
or whatnot. We just think that, you know, he just he just lost. You know, he's not a soul man no more. Since when your soul is gone, you don't know who the fuck you are anymore. His soul is gone. His soul has been brought, sold, damaged, and everything. It's, it's been humiliated. It's been stomped on. It's been burnt. It's been smoked. It's been choked. It's been poked. And it has disappeared. And he's trying to find it, eat. Anywhere he can go and any way he can get sympathy or suck up people's energy. That's what Kanye West wants with this situation. So we just have that like, you know, so Pete Davis is, is out here. He's struggling, you know, with his borderline personality disorder. And, you know, him basically saying about the, you know, wanting to commit suicide, but not saying suicide in them words that he don't want to live here anymore. And he just wanted to be here to help the people. It just really, it just really scared a lot of people where people took to, you know, Twitter to actually talk about the situation. And um, so, you know, you got um, Kanye West, he's praising, you know, Mr. Davidson and basically saying that, you know what, you very, you touch me and thank you for talking about him and thank you for being very open about your mental health and your mental illness. And he goes, I can't explain to you enough how difficult and scary it is to be. Honestly, this stuff ain't, this stuff ain't nothing to play with, you know. So basically, Kanye West actually gives, you know, Pete Davidson some props, but I think he's giving Pete Davidson some props because he really wanted to throw shade at Ariana Grande because of what she did about his argument. Because Kanye West believed that we supposed to, the whole world supposed to stop because he's tweeting, he's twittering, and he's on the computer talking about Drake and Drake owes him this. We know you're obsessed with Drake. We know you want to be Drake, but Drake done surpassed you, and his short time he sh he surpassed you, and you know Travis Scott supposed to surpass you know Kanye West too as well. So, moving on from that, we have rapper, you know, Nicki Minaj. She took to Twitter, too, and she gave her, she basically, she told, you know, that she was worried about Pete Davidson, and um, she loves him. He's a good man, and God got his back, and basically, you know, um, she criticized the public about being insensitive about people with mental illness and all of the other good stuff. So, basically, it seemed like a lot of people throwing the shade at Ariana Grande, but, you know, how how do you know when these people are being real and they're being serious and they're not just looking for attention? You know what I'm saying? And basically, Ariana Grande was looking for attention for her album. She wanted people to listen to her album. She want I mean, her 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 song with Miley Cyrus, and you got Kanye West wiling. You got Pete Davidson over here wiling. It's just a whole lot of shenanigans going on, and then she ended up saying the wrong thing, and people took to Twitter to you know get on her basically. It's just like damn, but how how much are we gonna deal with? Kanye West ranting and how how much more can we deal with you know Pete Davidson on the verge of committing suicide or se sending these crazy messages out there for help when he needs to get help there's people around us the people surrounding him I can't help him you can't help him just watching this he got to help himself and the people around him have to force him to help himself or you know what you can't work for SNL you can't do these comedy gigs you can't write you need to go get help before you can come and work you need to absolutely be better we need to know that you take your medication like or something because they're playing with the public like this is okay you know what I mean like it's okay to get on Twitter and say I'm about to take my life and the whole world stops or try to get in the midst of it when this man should be taking care of himself when he has a following he has people following him he has a platform so he needs to take responsibility for himself and you know the people that are watching him and following him and also the people that are employing pete davidson need to make sure that he actually get the right amount of health that he needs and maybe he needs to be signed a companion a mental health companion and maybe he needs to go to mental health classes or or, you know, therapy sessions daily for like 30 minutes and he has to check in and sign and do his therapy and then bring it to his employees and show them what's going on. And Kanye West needs to delete his Instagram and his Twitter. So we got Jada Pickens Smith. She also sends a message out to Pete Davidson. Hang in there. There is a lot of help out here. Surrender to some love, some wear around you today, right now, and then let in the let and the help that will become available. I am praying for you, Pete. I have been there. It's, it gets better. So basically, she's saying it gets better. Pete Davidson, hang in there. There is a lot of help out here. Surrender to some love somewhere around you today, right now, and then. Let 
and the help that will become available. I am praying for you, Pete. I have been there. It gets better. And so she's coming from a place where she had to get the help. And now when Jada Pickens Smith talks about suicide, when she talks about not wanting to be here, she has got the help that she needed before she sends people. She didn't send people on a up and down, you know, like worrying and all crazy and just like, oh my God, what's going on? This is going to be another tragedy. She actually got the help that she needed and she had the right people around her. So maybe, you know, Pete Davidson needs to sign over his rights to somebody to make sure that, th that he gets the treatment, he gets the help that he's, he, he's, you know, taking his medication because this is going to be a tragedy and we're all watching it too as well. And what Kanye West, he just needs for his sneakers to sell and the Yeezys to sell and his albums to do a million and a, to do a million copies in a week and he'll be all right. Peace, I'm out, one love. Tell me what you think about the situation. This is crazy out here in these streets.